welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. The summer is officially here. And this week, it is all about the unknown supercar, the Rossian Q1. This week in the festival playlist, we have some cool stuff, actually. We've got a little pumpkin hat if you want to be in the festival spirit. This is what we're going to be doing today, unlocking the Rossian Q1. We need to go do a Playgrounds Games event. Basically, what we need to do is have six people all on a team together against six other people. So what we've done again is we've actually made a Discord channel just for this. If you need any help unlocking this car, head over to Discord. There's a link in the description and you can find other people to do this event with because you need to do it online. Anyways, before we head over to the Playgrounds event, check out the Fortrathon shop. Oh, the CLK GTR. An absolute classic. Fire's like, I'm on the other team. Yo, Fire, look at your team. Your team doesn't have any XP. They have, like, completely stock cars. Yo, all of Fire's team has quit. Look at this. Hey -oh. <laughs> this is a perfect example of why you need to join the Discord and why you need a full team. If you need help at all unlocking this car, it is way easier to do it with a team. Jump in the Discord, play with five other people, and unlock the car in literally the easiest way possible. The Rossian Q1 has been unlocked. I think it's safe to say we've never unlocked a car so easily before. Little 450 horsepower, two and a half thousand pound. American-made car. I but what's it actually classes in the game? Who do they say makes this car? Car region, North America, car country, United States. Okay, yeah. This car is kind of interesting because it's like a mishmash of so many other cars. It uses bits from Noble. You definitely get some Noble body inspiration from this thing. The engine in the back here is actually a Ford twin-turbo V6 in there. Where did they steal the engine note from for this? I mean, I'll be honest, I like it. It sounds pretty good. Sounds like a little angry V6. Twitch chat is going back and forth if this is a new car sound or not, but I'm just gonna say right off the bat, I like it, regardless of whether it's new or not. Anyway, so let's not waste any time with this thing. Let's take it straight over to a little race course. Now, I kind of want to take it here. It's been a very long time since we've used this place. If you guys have been watching the channel for a little while, you might have heard me say how much I absolutely love tiny little lightweight cars. That is coming from the person who owns a Ford Raptor. Ignore that bit. But I love things like Lotus. I love things like Noble. And this is just an... Another one. Maybe it's too light. But anyways, I call this thing the unknown supercar because, I mean, if you ask most people what Rossian was in real life, if you said, what's a Rossian Q1? People are going to be, um, microwave? Probably? It's almost like it's a second step in the unknown department. It's using parts from a car that people already haven't heard of. I mean, to be fair, the only reason I know about this thing is because of Forza Motorsport 4. It's one of those cars you can just take into a corner and go throw it as hard as you want. Okay, well, I think if we do want to beat unbeatable AI, we're going to need to do some upgrades. Like, it's quick and all, but I think it could use maybe a little bit more horsepower and maybe a little bit of downforce. I feel like the downforce is the thing that's kind of preventing us from being really quick right now but overall for a completely stock car from a company that nobody's ever heard of perfect perfection we can swap in a racing v12 okay or a oh the racing 7.2 liter v8 we could build this into something absurd that would be pretty quick i mean it's rear wheel drive it probably won't go anywhere too quickly just because of wheel spin but i think we might want to make this thing into a little like race car a little like gt car maybe i assume it's already on race. it's not on race tires this thing is going to be the king of grip disclaimer this is not how i'm going to keep the car yo we're nearly x class and we're rear wheel drive yo we can upgrade the brakes the rossian might be really fast guys i think this car is going to be stoop weight reduction 300 we have a thousand one hundred horsepower it weighs two thousand two hundred pounds i will be honest i wasn't expecting this thing to be this fast we weigh two thousand three hundred pounds a thousand 
350 horsepower. Yeah, that's that's definitely an engine note now. Oh my god, it's fast. It's like a little rocket. Jesus, it's so light. It's like skipping. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Look at it pick up speed. Oh, whoa, that's unbelievable. I, I think we may need to test a drag tune because this is way faster than I would have thought. Oh, man. That acceleration. The ah, mini is mental. It's unbelievably brutal the way it just spins its wheels. You know how sometimes you get cars in this game that are really easy to drive? Yeah, this is not one of them. I, I think it's pretty safe to say that the Rossian's pretty quick now. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like the game is sped up. Okay, okay. I need to do this properly. I need all-wheel drive. So the all-wheel drive makes us a, almost like a, a, a hundred pounds heavier. However, that will most definitely be worth it. Oh my god, I've run out of gears. Okay, we need to we need to tune our gear. How? How? I... I it's so stable now. Zero to 60 in two seconds flat. The world is not big enough for this car. You guys say put the racing V12 engine in. Can you get more horsepower out of that? V12 twin turbos. This car is insane. How much horsepower do we have? We, we're gonna have less horsepower. 1,100 horsepower. Oh, man. This thing is gonna be a rocket ship. It's more stable way more stable now oh my god but it's still so quick 200 miles. the front of this car is lifting up i oh, i legitimately cannot drive this i will be honest out of all the cars that i thought were gonna set records in update 15 this was not the one all right well let's go do that race we promised and we will see how it does unbeatable difficulty in the what i assume is a very very op car now i think this thing will actually be able to compete with some of the really quick stuff moslers i'm looking at you porsche pre-order edition i'm looking at you i don't know though this thing just seems really quick with a proper like race tune on it i'm not a very good tuner with a proper race tune i think this thing is unstoppable like it's just so nippy through the corners it is so throwable 2,000 pounds this car weighs. Before, I will be honest, with rear-wheel drive, it was way dr more dramatic. With this setup, it's way more usable, way more practical, and just balls to the wall fast. Yo, look how far the AI is. What are they doing? They're both running Audi R8. All right, we got some cheaty AI again. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that was 200 miles an hour around corners. Woo! We caught up to the R8s. Okay, there is no way that those Audi R8s are that quick. 100% cheating. Did I hear somebody say rubber banding? I think so. I don't think it'll be super OP, but I want to try drag racing. I don't think it has enough horsepower. And even though it's still super, super light, I don't think it's light enough drag tire compound though yo those slicks look sick on this car slippery drag tune setup now you need to do a lot more fine tuning than i'm going to zero to 60 in 1.2 seconds apparently this is a fantastic car if you like having your neck snapped i mean i'm not gonna build a proper full like in-depth drag tune i'll let some other people do that i just want to see just like off the off the face of it how quick is it like i said no proper like full in-depth drag tune just want to see what it can kind of pull okay delayed reaction off the line from our driver and away we go destroy the ai we need a little bit better gears cross the line at 180 though not quick enough 7.8 seconds that's not bad. I mean, with a proper drag setup, you could bring that down to probably 7.5. If you're really good at drag racing, maybe you get a 7.4, 7.3. I know we've been focusing on how fast this car is, but um, you could toss rally suspension on this. It, this might actually be really good at rally racing, maybe. That's an interesting thing you might want to investigate. Uh, or, or drifting. Here's the other thing with this car. This car is like a jack of all trades. 
I mean, the only downside, I mean, it's mid-engine, but it's so light, has a big, big, big V8 swap, and you can just tune it! Absolutely send it around here! Because it's so light, it's just, it's so easy! It's so easy to hoon it. I honestly don't remember the last time we got a car that was so good at everything. Yeah, I think I might need to like scour the auction house for a couple of these things and try to pick them up. Seriously, even if you're not a fan of this thing, it might come out that this thing is the new fastest car around certain racetracks, so it's probably worth it to pick it up. Anyways, boys, that is where I'm gonna wrap it up for today, but next week is the Bugatti Divo, the Devo. If that is something you wanna see, make sure to subscribe. That is gonna be a beast of a car. I cannot wait to mess around with that thing. Until next time, though, boys, that is the Rossi and Q1 in Forza Horizon 4.